Well, that's all that remains now of the uh, cattle dock. Such a shame it got um, burnt down. How are we doing everyone? Thanks again for tuning in for, to another video um, here at Helmden, just coming out for a dog walk. Um, it's Christmas Eve, uh, it's cold, um, I've only got my phone with me so I'm not using my GoPro so the phone will be a bit shaky. But yeah, I just come for my usual dog walk along Helmden, go up to the viaduct and back again. So yeah, it's a nice day, the sky is nice and blue clouds a little bit windy probably about zero degrees and I just thought I'd just share with you my little walk and uh, Merry Christmas and just want to say thanks for following us on YouTube um, it means a lot knowing that I've got I've got about 150 subscribers now I'd like to get to at least a thousand so we'll see where it goes so the new year with uh, lockdown uh, I'm not too sure how often I'm going to get out but I'll try my best to try and cover a few walks uh, explores and we'll see what next year brings so yeah thanks for tuning in and enjoy the video So that would have been looking back towards Helmden Station and going through the gate here is towards Helmden Viaduct. in the distance is the Helmden to Soulgrave bridge. This view I'm going to show you now is roughly the same view as what was taken of the Navi camp that was once here when this viaduct was being built. So that field over there is basically the base and, or camp for all the navvies that worked on the railway. You can just make out under the fourth arch the, um, the line from Toaster to Banbury. It's 
So a lot of the capping stones off the top have uh, gone missing. Still surprisingly in really good condition for a viaduct that's been stood now for 54 years with no maintenance. I always wondered what these little square brick clumps were that run down the middle. I don't know if they are drainage or not, but one, two, three, four, five. Possibly drain for drainage. But you can see how much has been taken away when they cleared the line, all the ballast that's taken up so you can just see the, the level where the track would have roughly been. get another view from this side. the river that runs down there. There you go, that's Helms and Viaduct. So I'm only going to go as far as the plate layers hut, which you can just see in the distance. And then we'll head back towards Helmden Station itself. Well, we've had a lot of rain last couple of days and it's pretty wet up here now so there you go that's the uh, plate layers hut on doing at some point after Christmas is exploring beyond that bridge and following the old track bed towards Colworth station. Um, not done that section through winter yet so it should be pretty clear. Um, I'm going to explore that one so look out for a video in the near future. Hopefully uh, cover what we can find heading that way.
So we're just on the way back to Helmden station area. And as you walk back, I just want to show you something that doesn't come out in winter. Well, actually, sorry, it doesn't come out in summer because it's so covered in brambles. Is the uh, little docking platform. So we've had a just a siding coming up into here and on here would have been the uh, I think it would have been a shelter um, would have unloaded goods coal and whatever else for the village there it goes nice big bolt there all this top edging is all wood it's quite rotten yeah so there we go little part of history still remaining for Helmden and we're just going to head off now to the platform to see what we can see there. Just stumbled across the remains of telegraph pole. Buried in the grass. This is normally well hidden in summer. You can just make out the, the bolts so it's well, well rotten. Still got the wire looped around it from where it was felled. It's only a little section of it. Some more telegraph pole remains. Still got his top cap. Metal cap on that. I think that's the other bit to it there. And we've got an insulator, well, part of one. And there's no markings on it. go leave that there for someone else to find and um, we'll carry on heading down towards the station so we just come up to where the main station platform would have been and to the left it's the station master's house which is occupied and uh, really looked after still in really good condition lovely house so you can just make out where the end ramp is to the platform, which is this little bit here, which just goes up. It'd be lovely to clear all this because uh, it'd reveal the whole platform. Maybe one day there'll be someone out there that'll buy this piece of land and clear it all. So yeah, we're just walking up the edge of the platform now. And this pathway just runs through the centre. You just make out the platform edge. There is a little, uh, if I remember right, there's a little gap where, there you go, there's a gap here. That's a platform edge there. 
and it'll be the same that side. So that's a good thing about this time of year, it's pretty clear, you can see a bit more. So here we go, there's a platform edging. Still got all the original edging stones, which is great. These would have been all the same along these island platforms on the GC. That's great to see. Now, obviously, the uh, the overbridge for where the station entrance would have been has been filled in now. I'm sort of walking over the area where the booking office would have been, waiting room, toilets would have just been pretty much where I'm stood. And this is the other side of the platform. Not sure if it's showing up very well, but I think you can guess, guess what I mean. Let's see if we can get down. I think we can get down this side. Right, bear with me. I'm gonna turn off for a second while I try and get down this little ramp. There we go, that's the platform edge. I'll try and put up a picture I've got somewhere so it gives you an idea what it looked like along here. I think that's a drain. There's a drain in there. I'm right, just going to work my way round. So here's an interesting collection of bricks. This one here is, looks like it's something to do with off the uh, off the actual station building. There's a engineering brick brick with white paint on one side. Those of apples and the apple tree. So just walking along where the down line would have been. And there's your platform. Just make out the drainage. There you go, look at that. As far as I know, this section where Helmden Station is is up for sale. So if anyone out there wants to buy it and clear this platform and make it into something of a memory of the Great Central, that'd be great.
So there we go, that's Helmden platform. So just going to head back now. So thanks for tuning in to my little explore, my little dog walk, and have a really good Christmas and Happy New Year. And we'll catch you in the New Year with some more videos. All right, come on, Austin, this way. Thanks for watching. Bye.